can't believe the change. So this is the most wonderful thing that's happened. The new greenway sits along Five Mile Creek. It was cleaned up too. Volunteer Wendy Jackson. This has been so successful. I mean, it has just been an amazing partnership. Just like all of the time out here, these products are also donated. Organizers hope to duplicate this effort all the way down the creek. Eventually, a connected greenway will revitalize all of Five Mile Creek. That's 28 miles and a lot of rocks. Some of them are kind of stuck. Got to beat at them a little bit. Some already anticipating the next park. It's not that hard. Not that hard, but time consuming. And ultimately rewarding for all involved. The park should officially open in about two weeks, but according to the mayor, it's just the first in a long line of projects for this city, including a downtown revitalization plan. Reporting from Tarrant, Jason Gaston, ABC 3340. In Brookside, the partnership and its volunteer supporters built canoe put-ins, conducted cleanups, and began converting land along the creek into a walking trail. Today, the first business is open to serve the outdoor enthusiasts who are discovering a rejuvenated Five Mile Creek. We've had lots of folks come down, look at the maps, show interest in and, uh, the rail to trail, the greenway biking, the old rail to trail, the, uh, the canoeing trips. We've had Boy Scout gr groups from all over expressing interest in trips. We've had church youth groups. Uh, individuals. I mean, we've had them from small children up to 60, 70 years old that, that expressed an interest in, in seeing the beauty on this creek. Here with the Five Mile Creek Canoeing Company, we, we offer canoeing, of course. Uh, we also have kayaks. Uh, something unique about the business is our tubing. Uh, I don't know that uh, tubing is offered anywhere else in Jefferson County. We, we have tubes here and uh, as the weather gets warmer, hopefully this is going to take off and uh, we'll have some uh, people coming in and tube the creek. Meanwhile, in Fultondale, efforts are underway to secure land where historians have rediscovered a remarkable series of old beehive coke ovens, once used to produce the potent carbon fuel needed for steel making, and turn the site into a historical creekside park. This spring, Volunteers gather below the site to help clean up the creek and replace invasive plants with native species. Representatives from all of the Greenway partners contributed equipment, supplies, and other resources to make the cleanup a success, including the Alabama Power Service Organization, whose 1,000 members have become a volunteer labor force eager to help in the development of the Greenway. So far, Four annual cleanups have been held and have resulted in more than 50 tons of trash and debris being removed from the creek. There are more signs of Five Mile Creek's renaissance. Once we had this phenomenal local grassroots coalition underway, federal partners began to recognize the significance of what was happening along the banks of Five Mile Creek. Uh, the EPA awarded a $200,000 Brownfield Assessment Grant a large number of properties that we wanted to acquire for inclusion into the Greenway. We couldn't acquire because of the concerns of environmental contaminants. The Brownfields grant program allowed us to assess these sites and today I'm pleased to report that a number of the sites have been acquired for purchase as part of the Greenways and other sites are currently being cleaned up with EPA uh, cleanup grants. The U.S. Geological Survey, working with a partnership and interns from local universities, has completed the first comprehensive study of water quality in the creek. The study confirms that the water is now safe for public recreation planned along its banks. Biologists and creek enthusiasts have recognized a variety of wildlife along the waterway, from fish and mussel species to river otters and herons, eagles and hawks. Efforts are underway to formally identify and catalog species along the Greenway route and pinpoint the remaining areas of the creek where collaborative partnerships can be employed to further improve water quality. The transformation of Five Mile Creek is a revelation to folks who've lived along the waterway for years. Well, I was really amazed the first time we went down the creek. We, uh, we were just going to canoe it, but my oldest son wanted to carry a fishing rod, and, and uh, the further we got down the creek, the beauty just amazed me and the amount of fish that we caught. The fish have come back. We're standing on the bank watching the minnows now that are, are teeming. We even notice in, in canoeing that there are uh, freshwater clam shells in the creek, which indicates to me that it's very clean now. You know, when I was a kid, I, 
I knew very little about the creek, other than you could put a dog in it uh, to cure, cure the mange. But now you can see the creek and walk the creek, and it, it's really um, improvement to Brookside. But perhaps the most extraordinary thing about the Greenway effort is the partnership that has brought six cities, Jefferson County, corporations, nonprofits, and just regular citizens together for a tremendous cause. We had over 200 folks to show up at our, our cleanup uh, in the Five Mile Creek, and that day we built a park. Uh, we had people from all over Jefferson County and from the Alabama Power Service Organization and from uh, Freshwater Land Trust and Kawaka and just all kinds of partners came in to help us do that. We have a creek running through our city that at one time you would look at perhaps as a disadvantage and now we're looking at it as an asset. We have wildlife and the fish and the minnows and everything coming back to this, to this area that you know have been, has been gone for years. We're, we're a work in progress more than anything, but what it's going to mean to our city, just like everything else we're trying to do, it's going to give a big boost to the economic impact of the city of Graysville. The brownfield situation, oh, it's, it's just going to be a win-win for our citizens and our friends all throughout this area. The partnership has been a huge success and, a, and something that we are very proud to have been involved with since the get-go. This is just the beginning of the Five Mile Creek Greenways project. We have wonderful opportunities that have appeared with the uh, rail, abandoned railroad corridors that are located throughout the watershed. And with these corridors and their acquisitions, it, our dream of being able to hike, bike, or canoe from Center Point, Alabama to Graysville, Alabama without ever getting in a car is going to become true. The Five Mile Creek Partnership is a wonderful uh, example of the good that can be accomplished when people decide to work together and say we can instead of finding reasons why they can't. Five years from now, I really think that we'll be able to stand here and say dreams do come true.